Good afternoon. Welcome friends and family. Thank you for joining us here today to celebrate the marriage of David and Taylor. Would you bow your heads and pray with me? Heavenly Father, we gather here today and as we gather here today, you have promised Lord that whenever two or more are gathered in your name, you will be in the midst of them. We ask, Lord, for your presence here today as we join David and Taylor in marriage. We ask for your blessings over the ceremony as they make their vows to each other. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of marriage. Lord, we thank you for David and Taylor. And Father, we thank you for family and friends. And we thank you, Lord, that you have brought them together for this special day today. And it's in Christ's name I pray, amen. Who gives this beautiful bride away? All grown up in lace and pearls on her wedding day. Me and Charles Lindor give her away, but she's still our little girl. Thank you. You guys may be seen. Today, we gather together to witness and bless their union and marriage in the presence of God. In the holy covenant of marriage, the Bible teaches us that marriage is a permanent relationship between one man and one woman to freely give themselves to one another for life. This sacred moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure and a, as a gift from God to share with one another. You see, happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. You see, a good marriage must be created as God as a foundation. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you. It is at no time taking the other for granted. It is having a mutual sense of values and common goals. It is standing together, facing the world. It is doing things for each other not in the attitude of duty, but in the spirit of love. It is not expecting perfection in one another. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having a capacity to forgive and forget. It is establishing a relationship in which love is the eternal force of life. Love is a force that allows us to overcome all obstacles. May you always remember to give love freely and unconditionally from your heart. It is not marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. And it is not giving 50%, but it is giving 100%. You see, marriage is a promise of faith and trust. Marriage is a promise of hope. 
Marriage is a promise of love. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, it says, love endures with patience and serenity. You see, love is kind and thoughtful and is not jealous or envious. Love does not brag and is not proud or arrogant. Love is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not provoked nor overly sensitive or easily angered. And it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice at injustice, but rejoices with truth. You see, love bears all things regardless of what comes. It believes all things looking for the best in each one. It hopes all things remain steadfast during difficult times. And it endures all things because love never fails. Love recognizes no barriers. It jumps hurdles. It leaps fences, penetrates walls to arrive at its destination full of hope. David, the Bible says that when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord. And David, you have overcame a lot of obstacles and challenges on your own, but you don't know anything about that supernatural favor that is about to come upon your life in about 10 minutes from now. <laughs> Favor. Taylor, you are a virtuous woman. You have walked through some fire, you have walked through some trials, but you have come out as pure gold. Because see, your heart is ready and your spirit is prepared to carry everything that God has put into David's heart. Because see, Taylor, the power of a woman is the power of multiplication. Because see, in the beginning, God blessed Adam and Eve, and he told them, Dave, to be fruitful and multiply. You see, Taylor, he can give you groceries, but you can make it down. Come on. <laughs> Dave can give you a house. But Taylor, you make it a home. Because see, this is the power of multiplication. When God gives Dave a vision, you expand it. David and Taylor you have made a very serious and important decision in choosing to marry each other today. You both are entering a sacred promise as life partners in God. See, the quality of your marriage will reflect what you put into growing this relationship. You both have an opportunity to go forward from this day to create a faithful, healthy, and loving relationship. So today we bless you this day, but it is up to you both to keep the blessings flowing every day of your lives together. My prayer for you both is that God will give you wisdom, compassion, and grace to create a peaceful home in which love can grow. David? before God and these witnesses, do you, David William Ball, understand and accept this responsibility, and do you promise, Dave, to do your best each day to create a faithful, healthy, and loving marriage? David, will you strive to understand her, giving her comfort, when she seeks it from you? Will you love Taylor willingly and completely, withholding nothing, 
Will you protect her and give her your deepest considerations of her feelings, desires, and needs? Yes, I will. Before God and these witnesses, do you, Taylor Page Thomas, understand and accept this responsibility and do you promise to do your very best each day to create a faithful, healthy, and loving marriage? I do. Taylor, will you be David's helpmate, his sweetheart, his biggest cheerleader, and will you always remember to honor and respect him from this day forward? May I have the reins? These rings are a circle that has no beginning nor ending. So your commitment, David and Taylor, should always be unending. It is gold, which is precious. So also today is your commitment precious. And this sign and seal of this commitment will always be these rings. So Father God, we bless these rings and we ask you to always give them wisdom and discernment to understand the commitment when they see these rings on their hands to fight for each other and to never give up and to remember that love never fails. Amen. David, I'm going to give you Taylor's ring. I'm going to ask you to slide it halfway up on her finger. And David, I want you to stand there and hold it halfway. And I want you to look in Taylor's eyes. And I want you to repeat after me, David. I promise to love you for who you are. I promise to love you for who you are. And for who you are yet to become. And for who you are yet to become. I promise to be patient. And to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. And to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. <laughs> I promise to nurture your dreams. I promise to nurture your dreams. And help you reach them. And help you reach them. I promise to share my whole heart with you. I promise to share my whole heart with you. And to remember to show you how deeply I care for you. And to remember to show you how deeply I care for you. No matter the challenges that may come. I promise to love you, to love you loyally, loyally and, fiercely, and fiercely as long as I shall live. Okay, slide that ring on, brother. Come on. You're doing a good job, Dad. Good job. Proud of you. Can you this ring? I just want you to place it halfway on there. I want you to look in Dave's eyes. And I want you, Taylor, to repeat after me. Today, surrounded by our loved ones. Today, surrounded by our loved ones. I choose you to be my husband. <laughs> I choose you to be my husband. I am proud to be your wife. <laughs> and to join my life with yours. <laughs> I vow to support you. <laughs> inspire you. And love you always. For as long as we both shall live, I will be by your side. For better or for worse, in sickness and in health, for richer and poorer, you are my one and only one today, each and every day. Side that ring on. Now we're going to do the sand ceremony. So I'm going to ask you girls, just to step back just a little bit. And Taylor, are you able to walk through? <laughs> to the of that table? I David, I want you to step behind the red. Therefore, the Bible says, a man leaves his father and his mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. 
Genesis 2.24. You see, Taylor and Dave, God created you as an individual perfectly by his glory and love. But God also said that it is not good for man to be alone. And so he created a woman to be his partner and helper. So today, as you make a covenant before God to join in marriage, you become one flesh. So first, I have the privilege. This white sand represents God as their foundation. Now, Taylor, I'm going to ask you to pour some of your sand representing yourself as an individual before you came to this union. <laughs> now, David, I want you to pour some of your sand representing yourself as an individual before you came into this union. So just pour half of your sand, David. I'm just going to pour a little bit more sand representing your faith in God. Now, let's see how we can do this. Steady hands, guys. I want you both to pour your sand together at the same time on top of the white sand. Good job. This represents you guys joining as one in marriage completely and internally. And then lastly, we're going to put the final layer of white sand. And this represents God always watching over you, protecting you for the rest of your marriage and the rest of your life. So may God bless this marriage, and may you guys both be as inseparable forever as those grains of sand. Amen? Come back over here, guys. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask both of you guys one last favor. I need you both to hold each other's hands and to, again, look into each other's eyes. Because, see, Taylor and Dave, these are the hands of your best friend that is holding yours on your wedding day. As he or she has promised to love you all the days of your life. You see, these are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future as you laugh, as you cry, and as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. You see, these are the hands that will work long hours for one another. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. You see, these are the hands that will wipe the tears from your face and the tears from your eyes. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. And these are the hands that will comfort you when you're sick and hold you when you're grieving. So we bless you this day. May God bless you both today and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. I pray today that your marriage will continue to be everything that the Word of God called it to be. May Christ be the head of your house and at the center of everything you do. And may the Word of God be the binding and final authority in all matters. Your marriage today is blessed and washed in the blood and shall weather any challenges that arise against it. 
May your love continue to grow stronger each day as the Lord allows you both to see him in one another. And now that Taylor and Dave have given themselves to each other and the promises they have exchanged, I pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. David, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, an honored guest, it is now my privilege and honor to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. David and Taylor Ball. Thank you. 